if we had some of the brothers that would actually not mind speaking out and coming out of their own shell and represent who they are, I think that the representation of us would be so much greater. Now, when Kanye West came out and said what he said, what did people say? Well, he probably gave to, because look at the way he, he dressed. He's not hyper-masculine. He's a little uh, eclectic in his music and all this other stuff. That's a little gay. So, you know, it's expected for Kanye West. But can you imagine the impact of homophobia in black community if Louis Farrakhan came out the announcement? Me, I know, I know how I am. And if I'm in this industry long enough, I will walk the red carpet with... Um, my husband and children at all, you know, and I think that we need to step up, we, you know, one by one. If it takes just me to do it before four or five others do it, then fine, you know. If it takes Kanye West to make a statement like that and it makes people go, mm, maybe we should open the, you know, the, the reins, fine. You know, oftentimes go back to my thought around the slave mentality. And so, <laughs> must have been three or four years ago, the warehouse, when it was in the Bronx, I went Halloween weekend. There was this long line. The warehouse never has a long line, so I'm in it. So I hear people say, the warehouse regular get out this line and go into the next line. So me thinking I'm fab, I said, oh, they're not talking about me because I'm not a warehouse regular. So he came up and said, yeah, you too. I said, oh. So I didn't know why he pointed me. So he went to the warehouse, that line. So our line was getting faster. So this line asked the bouncers who were big and all that other stuff, yo, why why that line get in faster? They said, oh, son, this is a gay club. What happened was the promoters of the warehouse also allowed the heterosexual college party be the, to be there the same night as the gay night. The heterosexual student line with us all that long time did not know it was a gay club. Why? Because we were all in thug drag. All in thug drag, right? So we get inside and downstairs a little hip hop floor. So they make an announcement, can we move everyone upstairs so we try to get everybody in? So all you hear is, oh no son, all them fucking faggots upstairs, I ain't going up there, blah, blah. So we go upstairs, go on the dance floor. The heterosexuals got a little unofficial circle where they're dancing, surrounding us sort of to protect them from the gay people. The quote unquote masculine gay men are not dancing, they're just standing there in their heterosexual, stereotypical heterosexual stance. Always gotta give it to the country girls. You know, hand up, yeah, fuck this and all this stuff, blah, blah, all this, you know, these fishes here, what these fishes talking about the women. So you go where the bar is, there's a particular uh, transgender woman, woman named Sanaya, she's in the house of Ebony, mother legend. She ruled the, the bar, her and her girlfriend Carrie, who's a Miss Rahe. Sanaya shaking her titties because she knows boys there, so she's showing off. So the, the biologically female were upset. Well, because look how Sanaya looked. They know she's biologically male, but she has all this breast and waist and ass, and they don't. The, the men, the heterosexual men, were perplexed because you know they was turned on, but no was And so me being altered with my cocktail that I call Red Devil, I'm political, I'm going off, I'm telling my friends, oh fuck this, we can't, la 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 la, they said, oh child, whatever, la la la. Then they started playing that Caribbean song, that reggae song. From the Mapar in a Chichiman Club, with me fire, make we burn it. I just went berserk. Well, when they played that, then all the gay people started dancing. You want to talk about slave mentality? would not dance regularly, but you start dancing to a song that was talking about killing you and burning you. The heterosexuals are looking at the gay people like, like are y'all like crazy or whatever? But they're dancing too. Yeah. So for me, I give that analogy to explain why black hip hop is still homophobic. Because black gay people who work in the industry and black gay people who buy are not saying to them that you need not to be homophobic. I'm still going to buy you. Regardless of the fact that you call me fag, and regardless of the fact that you say burn me, and regardless of the fact that you call Chi Chi Man, I'm still going to support you.